Okay, I've got things run, running smoothly now, said Jack the narrator. And the next story is even better than the last three. See, it's about this girl who runs very fast and always her red running swords. That's where her name comes from, get it? So anyway, this girl is running to a granny's house when she meets a wolf. He took her into taking the long way while he takes the sword. So this is the good part because Red runs so fast that he beats the wolf to her granny's house. He knocks on the door. Red answers it. Guess what she says? My, what stuff feet you have? And that's it. The end. Is that great or So sit back, relax, and enjoy it. The Lord runs to us. No, is that what he said? The Lord runs to us. He just told the whole story to the Lord running to us. You're not gonna, we're not gonna tell it again. You can't say that. That you have to say it once upon a time. No way, said the wolf. You blew it. But you guys are next! Look at the cat on top of the page! Things are so it's not you! Let's go, wolf. We're out of here. Wait, you can't do this. You thought you're supposed to be free. The weeds. I harvest the weeds. Now I get to tell this, my story. The little run. Say, what's going on here? Why is that page blank? Is that my page? Where's that lazy dog? Where's that lazy cat? Where's that lazy mouth? How do you expect me to tell the whole story all by myself? Where's that lazy narrator? Where's that lazy illustrator? Where's that lazy author? <laughs> Jack's bean problem. Forget that hen. Now it's time for the best story in the whole book, my story. Because once upon a time, I tried to our last cow for free magic beans and... Hey giant, what are you doing down here? You're wrecking my whole story. I do not get a story, said the giant. You won't trick me. That's the best part, said Zach. Three, five, four, four. I have made my own story. Great rhyme, John. And I'm sure your story is just as good, but there's no room for it. So why don't you just climb back up the beanstalk? I'll be up in a few minutes to steal your gold and your singing harp. I'll burn your bones to make my bread! I know, I know you all understand. There's another little thing that's been bugging me. Could you please stop talking up of these dirt? You really messed up the age. I will read my story now to the giant, and you did. <laughs> okay, this is the picture here. Giant story. The end of the evil stepmother said, I'll huff and snuff and give you three wishes. The beast changed into seven dwarves happily ever after for a spell. Think as my wicked witch once upon a time. That's your story, said Zach. You've got to be kidding. That's a fairly stupid tale. That's a incredibly stupid tale. That's most unbelievably stupid tale. That is the most stupid tale I ever... Awak! So I grabbed Jack and dragged him to the next page. Jack's story. Once upon a time, there was a giant. The giant squeezed Jack and said, Tell me a better story, or I'll grind your bones to make my bread. When your story is finished, I will grind your bones to make my bread anyway. Ho, ho, ho. The giant laughed. Ugly laughed. Jack fought to kill me if I do. Kill me if I don't. There's only one way to get out of this. Jack cleared his throat and began the story. Once upon a time, there was a giant. The giant squeezed Jack and said, Tell me a better story, or I'll grind your bones to make my bread. When your story is finished, I will grind your bones to make my bread anyway. Ho, 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 and then the same thing is about of times. Okay. And I believe